With this Smithmas update, Valve were nice enough to add 5 new maps for us to discover and enjoy. But I didn't take a look at them instantly as I knew from last year there'd be some bugs surrounding these maps. But Valve released a bug fix today. So we're now going to delve into these maps in their hopefully fixed goodness. And, you know, see what they're about and uh, how they stack up against one another. I've, I've not seen anything regarding these new maps. I've not seen any gameplay. Uh, I'm going in truly blind. I don't even know what they're called. So let's have a look, shall we? We've got Cold Pit, Frost Watch, Rumford, Frost Cliff, and Frosty. A very Frost-themed name scheme there. I must say that Brumford sounds a lot like a place in the United Kingdom. So, uh, I'm probably going to check that one out first, to be honest. You know, see if it feels like home. Let's see what Rumford's got in store for us, shall we? This is not England. This is... 1950s America. What the fuck? Hey man, looks nice though. There's some lovely uh, environments around here. Oh, actually, oh, this map looks kind of kind of cold. I can't lie. I love the little details outside of maps. Jeez, looks quite nice. Um, I don't know where I'm going. This way. This way. Yeah. What? That was a that was a that was a cold headshot. My God! Oh hello, <laughs> little goblin bloke. We got a cool teleport spot apparently. That's what I'm hearing. I mean, I guess. <laughs> you know, so I think it's a paper factory. Oh yeah, Rumford Paper and Co would uh, would let, lead you to think that, but you know, it looks nice. It's a nice winter themed map. I'm not sure what more I could really say about it, you know? Yeah, it looks nice. Has, has that going for it, but then again, I'm a big fan of the TF2 art side in general. Got these reels of paper, though. That's pretty cool. It's a well-thought-out map. Good-looking map, you know, classic payload. I'm a fan of payload. Yeah, like, I like these little aspects. You know, you got these delivery trucks. You got the thing back at spawn. You know, you got this, like, the the actual factory part you know it's cool it's cool i think in terms of map aesthetics i'm a big fan of the winter vibe that we get with these christmas maps because they just look so nice like personally i'm not really a fan of winter it's, it's too cold for my liking but like these maps i don't have to feel cold you know <laughs> rumford papercoat really be getting stonks right now that's pretty cool ah employee of the year what we got here we got we got patrick hennessy nice we got Alex Stewart, nice. We got Louis Turner, nice. We got Neil Slaughter, nice. We got Eric Browning, nice. We got a uh, bear, nice. Isaiah uh, Topez, you know, nice. This is very cool. I don't know who these people are. They could be real. They could be fake. I don't know, but it's a cool little touch. I like that as well. This map has got some very cool scene building to it. I'm a fan. Very terrifying heavy. Very cool map. It's got like all the poop. You know, the, the wood poop that's now legal to eat, just ch chilling, ready to be made into paper. It's very cool. Where are we? We're on Frostwatch. Nice. Hmm. Okay, so the environments I'm seeing so far, not as good as the other map. It looks okay at the moment. What's down here? Oh, just a present. It looks okay, from what I can see, you know. Rumford was very good scene building. Um, this map does look a bit open and bare in places. But it looks a bit dark as well. I'm not sure if that's my monitor, but this map looks very dark. But hey, this is a nice little environment we got going on here. I mean, it is a, a big drop. But hey, pretty cool. Yeah, it doesn't look too bad. It's very dark, though. I mean, we are in a cave, so that is to be expected. But especially in this room here, very dark. I mean, it doesn't look too bad. So it's an okay-looking map, but it is just quite dark. Didn't even know that this room was here. Nice. What are you doing? What the fuck? What? What was that guy doing there? Okay, this map's quite confusing. Maybe it's because my brain is tiny, but I'm rather bamboozled. So there are different parts of the map. 
actually, so I guess it's good we lost because we get to see the other parts of the map. But again, it just feels too dark. I'm not. I, I think the lighting needs to be changed on this map. Personally, of course, pretty okay looking map to be to be honest. Quite large, I think. I think it's pretty big. Lots of open spaces and dark corridors. <laughs> but apart from that, is it okay? Realistically, yes. This map is so hard to navigate, bro. I don't even know how to get to that point. What's there? Brilliant. Brilliant news. I'm glad. Yeah, my, my only major gripe with this map is it's too dark. I think that's really the only issue I have. Like, why is it so dark? It's it's pretty much daylight outside. Other than that, map's, map's alright, you know. Nothing too egregious going on. A lot of corridors, I feel. I feel it's need, a bit needlessly complex. A bit needlessly awkward to navigate, you know. Oh, okay, this looks nice. You know, with some consoles. They should be red, but I'll allow it. Nice Christmas tree, that's always a bonus. Lovely stuff. Quite a very large spawn area, though. Uh, yeah, nice little, what's this, like a courtyard or something? There's the capture point, of course. This map looks decent. I've seen all three parts of it now, so I can safely say this is a very decent map. It's still a very complicated map, and I'm going to mark it down a few points for that reason alone. But yeah, it doesn't look bad. We've got this nice little environment bit here. I know that's not really part of the map you can play on, but it looks nice. Yeah, decent looking map, you know. Looks pretty nice. I'm going to say solid. Um, on to the next map, shall we? This map looks promising. Oh, that looks lovely. Oi, look at this. A lovely bit of, lovely bit of stuff. I don't know. L lovely gubbins. Is this the capture point? Oh, very nice. This looks lovely. This place looks great. I'm a big fan of this. Very nice. Very nice indeed. Looks lovely. Love it. Love the world building on this map. World building? Map building? Or vent system? I'm gonna assume leads to the intel. Nice, I like it, you know, I like it. I'm a fan. Oh. I'm a fan. This map does look quite nice though. I, I like what I'm seeing. 200 years ago. Oh! Drinks machine, nice. I think we're okay. Oh my god, it was a spy! Oh my god! I can't believe I thought it was a normal NG. <laughs> oh man. Are you real? No, you're fake. Yeah. This is a very windy intel section, but I like it. I like it. I'm gonna imagine that Red's map is, or map, that base is pretty much the same as what we've got going on. But hey, we've got this cool, like, tunnel system going on. I like it, I like it. Right. Not a single sentry gun there. Hmm. Hmm. Well, that was pretty... <laughs> that was a pretty easy infiltration jobby. Yeah, just a vast wasteland. Pretty cool. I think Frosty is a very nice map. I'm a big fan of the Intel room. It looks lovely. I'd, I'd love to just chill there as an engineer for a bit. The rest of the map looks nice. I'm a fan. You did good. I'm going to say it's better than Rumford. Frosty, Rumford, Frostwatch. Lovely. Frostcliff time! We all love playing Frostcliff. Already, it's looking very nice. You see, this is a map that is at night but does the lighting well, you know. Nothing looks dark. I'm a I'm a fan of what I'm seeing, you know? Lovely vibes already. This map do be looking good though. I, I'm a fan of what I'm seeing. You know, we got some good architecture going on already. We got some nice looking just stuff. Map stuff looks good. That's a cool payload actually with, with a fucking bulb on the front. That's quite quite nice. Quite humorous. Please, I just want to see more of the map, guys. Please, let me see more of the map, guys. Please, let me see more of the map, guys. Please, let me see more of the map, guys. Please, please, guys, I just want to see more of the map. Is that too much to ask? Whoa! 
bulb car. Nice. Oh, hey, new area unlocked. Nice. And this area looks nice, but we, we can't get out of it, so I don't actually know. It looks decent, though. It's got potential. They're really making us work for it, but you know what? This map looks lovely. I'm always excited to see what new area we can delve into next. Spawn actually looks pretty nice, though. I'm a, I'm a fan of what they've done with the place, you know? <laughs> with the furniture. Lovely. This map looks pretty nice, though. I've, I've pr probably said that many a time, but I'm a fan of what I'm seeing. You know, it looks good. Well, we didn't get to see the entire map, but I could see a big hole, so I could kind of guess where this is going. You know what? It's a very, very solid map. I think it's, I think it's quite good. I think it's the third best map I've played out of all of them. And we go on to our last map, Culpit. One angry snowman looking at me there. What, what what did I do, man? Got a nice fire pit at least. Look at that. Can I kill that snowman? I can. Rest in peace to him. It looks nice, I'll give it that. It does look nice. There, these, this area is quite nice looking, you know? It does look nice. It looks festive, looks cosy. Uh, I can respect that. But I don't think personally this map is for me in general. I don't really enjoy playing it. But hey, you can blow up snowmen, and that's pretty fun. A chilly vent, that's a nice touch. Oh my god, I, I think I think the exploding snowmen actually killed people. If that's the case, that is amazing. They sufficiently festivised this map. I'm especially a big fan of this icy bit on the final point. It looks nice. I would say it, it looks nice. But as I said, I'm not really a fan of this map in general. So even even though it looks nice, I'm not really a fan. I mean, that's not this map maker's fault. It's the original map's fault. Um, so the person who made this winter version ain't to blame for this at all. But yes, it's not really for me. It's an okay map. Like It looks nice and all that. But d the map it's based off of was not one of my favourites. So I can't really recommend it. All in all, you know, the, the cosmetics of this update have been really, really solid, and I feel like the maps have just let them down a bit. I mean, there's only two maps which I thought were really top tier. They were Rumford and... The, I forgot the name. They were the only two maps I'd play if, um, if, I had, if I was forced to. But yeah, I think this has been an update of two halves. You've had a really good cosmetic update. The, the hats were amazing. The taunts are great. Yeah, maps weaker than the cosmetics this time. How hidden am I just next to this snowman? So it looks like pretty hidden until someone. <laughs> whoa, whoa, what a ragdoll. It's an update of two halves, really. I think the cosmetics are really strong and the maps weren't that strong, but hey, you may think differently. I've been over the giant tree and I hope you have a very, very nice day. See you later. Hey, oh, uh, uh, I've been up for like two hours. Two hours. Yo, bitch, can you took a few showers? Few showers. I don't buy my just money dance. Yeah. That wristwatch costs a hundred grand.